at this point, what is the biggest misconception of you? What's a viewer opinion that is incorrect people have about Journey? Really, honestly, bitches think they know my whole entire life. Like, literally. Bitches got, like, a different life of me in their head. So I'm not even going to list everything because it's, like, a whole lot of shit. Like, my whole life, bitches just think different of me. Is there any particular one out of that that just seems to keep on popping up or is it the forefront of those things in that realm or, or no? A lot of bitches probably think I'm a hoe and a homework party. And that's false. That's the only thing I can, I mean, that's one thing I can think of that I always hear. And they, they say the stripper shit a lot. The stripper word, they always bang the stripper. Like, like when they say ho, are they talking about like in the form of prostitution or are they talking about like you just sleep around type of thing? Yeah, like, you know, because I'm a dancer. So, you know how they think about dancers. They think strippers do wild shit. False? False. Definitely false. Now, because of this misconception of you, have you lost or gained opportunities because of that? People saying these things, thinking these things... I actually gang because as soon as these bitches be talking to me about these other bitches or these other niggas, the niggas want me more. Like, they be like, what is these bitches talking about, about her? And they just be all on me. That's probably why they think about her because the attention I get from niggas probably. And for time reference, it's November 2021 now. Yes. Now, what's the craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Mm. Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? I don't really heard no crazy shit, really. That's like, I ain't really heard no crazy, like nothing crazy, crazy, like nothing, for real. Now, it's what? all typical stuff. Oh, okay. So there are rumors about you, just not crazy I mean, crazy it do be rumors. rumors, like, you know, little rumors, like, oh, she fucking him, or she a hoe, like, little stupid shit, but it don't be nothing too deep that... You know. Mm-mm. Anything you particularly want to address here? Yeah, I don't give a fuck about the rumors. Keep starting them. <laughs> How true or false are rumors that have been said about you? A hundred percent. Because I'm a very private bitch. Like, I have a very... I don't have a lot of friends. So it's like, if a bitch really... On, a bitch don't really know me because... Even with my friends, I don't talk to them on a daily basis. Like, so it's like... Everything, 100%. Cap. False? Cap. Yes, okay. False. All right. Uh, we, uh, there's some women that have a lot of friends or seem to have a lot of friends. For you, why not so many? The older I got, the more I realized that, I don't know, these bitches be hating. Like, it don't be a unity thing with bitches these days. It always be a, oh, oh she doing this, so I got to do this to be better than her. Like, you know, it don't be like, oh, let's all be, you know, bad bitches. It just be the energy be off of me, so I just be cutting a lot of bitches off. I'm, I'm cool. I have a lot of sisters, too. Like, it's four of us, and we just close, so it's like, I really don't really need friends for real. Biological sisters? Yeah, same mother, same father. And where, do, where are you on that ladder? Oldest, youngest, middle? I'm the middle? oldest. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes to actual friends that you do have, are you able to count how many you have right now? Yes. I can say I have a good, solid, like, six friends. Yeah. Before you but start... But some friends I don't talk to, though. Like I said, like, some are from high school... And, you know, we talk, but we don't talk, like, all the time, like, you know. So it's like, who I hang with on a daily basis is not that many. It's like two or three, if that, if they come outside. Do you have a best friend out of all these friends? Yes, I do. Care to share who it is? It's a boy. His name Kilo. Lux Fale. Go get y'all hit up for my best friend. And strictly a platonic relationship. Yes. I love him. Like, we've been best friends for, like, five years. How'd you two meet? Do you remember the first time? Yes. He used to come see me at my club in D.C. Stadium, Washington, D.C. And ever since then, we just clicked. And that just been, that's like my man for real. Like, he treated me better than 
all these niggas. Like, that's my man. But that's my best friend, though. And uh, when it comes to stadium, you yes. uh, danced at stadium at one point of your life? Mm-hmm. That's like my home club, for real. Like, that's where I, Journey really started at, like, and developed at, like. That's really where I made my first bags, bags at, like, you know. And how many years do you think you've probably worked at that establishment for? Maybe like three or four years. And? I want to say like four. Now, there's people. Well, let me ask you this. Before I ask you this next question, let me ask you this. Uh, why don't you currently work there anymore? Um, I wanted to move it. I wanted to move on. Like, my city real small, and it's just like, you can't do certain stuff in my city. You know, like, it's just, and I'm going to just leave it there. So, I want to just be like, you know, I just was thinking bigger. So, I just was like, you know, it's just time for me to elevate, for real. Now, now when it comes to city, what city are you referencing here? Okay, so, I'm from PG County, but D.C. is right there, and I know Everybody from D.C., like, all the niggas, all the bitches, like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what I mean, like, because it's the DMV, so D.C., Washington, Virginia. It's like we all one thing. So, it's like, that's what I mean by that city, like, that whole city right there. Like, I just wanted to get, you know, bigger. I wanted to move on. Like, I came out here by myself, too. Like, I just wanted different. I don't know. When it comes to PG County, is it a certain part of it that you represent, or is it just PG County that, that's no. it? No. Um... I was born in Upper Marlboro Clinton area. That's where I actually went to school into the 10th grade. And what school was this that you're referencing? Frederick Douglass High School was my, my high school. And why did things stop there? My mom was getting really, really sick. And I don't know, I just became a problem child, you know, and just stopped, stopped giving a fuck. Like. And then when she finally died, I just was like, fuck that shit, like, you know. It just was a stupid, dumb decision that I made that I wish I never made, but, you know, you live and you learn. Did you end up getting a GED at some point? No, but that is my 2022 goal. I said I was going to get my GED, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Now, why is that a goal for you? There's some people that drop out of high school, don't care about it, don't feel like it's necessary for them in their I life. I got a baby at home, for real. So it's like, you know, I push her to be great. And I don't want her to be asking me questions like, well, you ain't doing it. And I can just tell her, like, yeah, I made a dilemma, a mistake, but I still did it. So that's what I'm telling you. You still could do it. Like, do it. Like, you know, she ever tried to give up. You know how kids get in high school. They start acting up, start doubting themselves and stuff. I just want to do it for her, for real. I'm more so for me. And this is the only child you have? Mm-hmm. And um, what's the status between you and... The child's father. <laughs> we just real cool. That's all. We ain't been together in like seven years. We just strictly just co-parenting. That's it. Why did things end on the significant other level? He... How can I say it without... He just wasn't for me at the time. We was We was kids, you know, and it was like he was doing him and... I was not going for that shit, so, you know. Not really so, so he was doing him. Like, he wasn't on my level, like, mentally even. Like, I was thinking about bigger, and he still was like, you know, so I just had to let it go. So technically speaking, uh, do you end the relationship on that level? Does he, is it mutual? (laughs) What ends up happening there, technically speaking? It was, like, mutual for real. Like, he sort of knew that I was not feeling it no more, so it was like, so we decided together. Did uh, you two meet before you were an exotic dancer, while you were an exotic wow. dancer? Okay. Wow. That probably was my issue. I met him in a club. Don't do that. Now, speaking of this club, there are rappers who have mentioned stadium in their lyrics. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's listeners, especially this audience watching, that may have heard about stadium but never had a chance to experience it. What was Stadium really like when you were working there at one point in your life? Stadium was lit, shit. That shit was fun as shit. That shit was lit. $2 Tuesday. 
it was it was a vibe. Stadium is a vibe. Stadium back open now and it's a vibe. Most you ever made in one night at stadium. Mm, at stadium, I wish you would have said my whole life. Uh it, we can say your whole life. Not if my you'd whole like. life. I meant to say period, like not just at stadium. At a, but at just stadium. exotic dancing period. Yeah, but okay. Like okay. Most you ever made a one night. I probably made dance. like seven thousand dollars at stadium. At stadium. In one night. Mm-hmm. In one night. And was that your birthday in particular? Was that a specific occasion? What do you think drew? No, on my. Okay. It was like my birthday, but it wasn't my birthday. Like my birthday was a week before, but that was my birthday party. So I made uh, like seven, eight thousand dollars, yeah. But like before, ever in life, like seventeen thousand in one night. Care to share what um, establishment that was? <laughs> it was like an after party for real. Like it just was like you know some real important people got together and they had like four girls and it was just lit. Like a mansion, a hotel. No, or... it was like a. It was a party. It was like a, a like a building for real. So the, he, it was his birthday. He had like a a party, and then after he his girl got dances and stuff like that, and they just turned up. Everybody in the club just turned up, and it just was a vibe. And seventeen was just for you, or that yeah, was yeah. It was just for me. It was a total of forty thousand, and it was four girls, and we tipped out people who helped us, and you know stuff like that. So we all left with like seventeen thousand a piece. Now, when it comes to rumors, oh, before I even ask you about rumors, I did want to ask you this. Uh, when it comes to the death of your mother, how did she pass, if you don't mind me asking? Okay, my mom had a tumor, a brain tumor, and it was growing from her brain to her eye. So she, it was cancerous, so she just slowly passed from that. Was it found or discovered at a particular stage? Yeah. She kept getting headaches a point in her life, like, for, like, two years straight. She always have a headache, always take pills, always tell us, rub her head and stuff like that. And then she finally went to go get, you know, testable, and they said that he that had seen something in her, in her head. Was it stage three, stage four at the time? See, it wasn't really, it wasn't really cancer. It just was a tumor. Oh, Okay, so, got you. But the tumor was cancerous, but it, it wasn't it wasn't cancer. Ah, it, was, it was a tumor. I and understand. the tumor just got so big that it was nothing we could do. That was all. No option like maybe we could take the tumor out, you'll lose an See, eye. We but... did that before. We the 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 first time we had got it taken out, she had to go to rehab and all that. It lasted for like maybe three, four years, then it came back. Ah. But the doctor already said it was gonna come back. He just didn't know when. So he like he just don't recommend for them to keep going to her brain, stuff like that. So it just was like you know, he was like it was a ninety percent ninety percent chance she was gonna die when she got surgery. So we just was like we not even gonna put her through that because he said it was gonna always come back. Looking back though, uh, was there any scientific reason why she got this tumor? Some people don't get tumors the way you described your mother getting it. Was there a certain factor or? So basically they said it was a hormonous, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it grew from hormones. Like when she had my, my little brother, it was stress. I don't remember exactly what the doctor was saying because it happened so long ago. I just remember him saying that it was a hormone thing. Like it grew from hormones or something like that. Is but that's it, all I remember. Is this something that could affect you at all? Is it this could, something you could get yourself? Yeah, any of us could, yeah. Yeah. Any of us, including the My audience sisters. watching or, no. or you met your family? I mean, anybody can get it really. Like, it's not just like, oh, you know, she didn't have it. So, you know, nobody in my family never had this before, like a tumor in their brain or nothing like that. But the doctors did say, like, you know, anybody can get it. Like, so... Or maybe a stronger possibility yeah, of stronger you possibility guys getting for her kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, care to share what age you were at the time when she passed? I want to say nineteen or twenty. 
Okay. No. I'm telling the fib. That was when she was sick. She passed when my daughter just was born. My daughter was probably like nine months. So I was like 23. That's when my mom passed. In 20, 2013. I was... She was, I don't know. I was 23, though. So she didn't get a chance to see your daughter at all? No, she did. Okay. That's why I said, like, if she could, I remember. And she came to my doc, she came to my hospital and stuff after I had my daughter. So my daughter was probably turning one. I was 23. Yeah, 22, 23 when I, when I had my daughter. Now, Going back to my original question, we were talking about rumors before we started kind of delving into some other avenues of this interview. But uh, when it comes to rumors, do you, what, what is your policy when you receive or you get wind of a rumor? Is it something you address and, and go public about? Or is it something you sweep under the rug, so to speak, and let people talk? Yeah, it's something that I really don't give a fuck about. Like, I don't give a fuck about rumors because I was no I sm smacked them in real life. So it's like, they don't say nothing to me anyway. So it's like, if they don't say nothing to me, I don't care. So I really don't care. When you say you don't care, have you always been like that? Or was uh, there a time when you did? It was a time that I did. Used to address everything, but then I learned like everything is not to be addressed because like what what is the point? Like, there's no point into that. I don't address shit no more. I don't care. And was that like the flip of a light switch for you when you go from care from caring to not caring, or was that just a gradual progression over time? No, nah, it was progression over time. It didn't happen overnight. Ever been posted? On the Shade Room teens or the Shade Room? No. What's your opinion of those platforms? I mean, I have no opinion about it, honestly. I just feel like, I feel like all publicity is good publicity. Like, people going to talk regardless, like, going to believe whatever they want to believe, so who cares? Even if it's an unfalse rumor yeah. and is a horrible rumor. Because they don't care. People will not care if it's a horrible rumor. They don't, they don't care. You still think that's good publicity, though? I mean, No, I'm saying I mean, like, like, I'm not saying. Not good publicity, but you think it's still good to be talked about, even if it's a horrible, terrible rumor <clears throat> that's false. What I'm saying is whatever whatever people say about you, the next person is going to speak on it regardless if it's good or bad. So I just don't have no feeling about that because it's like they can post up anything on those type of platforms and anybody will believe them. Do you think these two particular platforms contribute to the messiness? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But messy get people paid nowadays. 